I, I call these lenses monofocal pro and I think they are one step ahead of the normal monofocal lenses. And uh, from my perspective, uh, when I compare it with uh, Alcon and um, uh, eye hands, um, it, it is giving uh, a superior uh, reading uh, vision. So I use them in, uh, like I said, uh, some unusual eyes like retinopathies and glaucoma patients and uh, patients who had LASIK histories, hypropic LASIK, supracore treatments, because it's hard to estimate uh, what the refraction is going to be afterwards. Uh, so I, I only use them for unusual eyes because uh, mostly I, I'm using tri trifocals in my practice. And if everything is normal in that in the patient's eye, I usually uh, put trifocals. So if the patient has an unusual thing, I am switching to EMB. But, uh, you know, like keeping that in mind, uh, these people usually have good distance vision with some good dis uh, reading vision. Um, of course, I tell these patients that they're going to be using uh, reading uh, spectacles for reading. But I have a dentist patient uh, and uh, I did a, a mini monovision in him and he's not using any glasses when he's working and when he's driving and it's, you know, like unbelievable. But I am not doing um, a monovision that will require like one diopter difference. Um, mostly my monovisions are between uh, point half, you know, half and 0.75 and uh, my patients are doing fine. Yes, exactly. And uh, I am trying to um, keep the binocularity power that they have because it's very small. And if you try to do a monovision in an amblyopic eye, uh, these people lose all their power to use all the two uh, eyes. They, they are going to be using uh, the uh, good eye for everything. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to stay in a metropic uh, state but you know, like there will be a small amount of intermediate distance, and I think um, it will, you know, it will have a, you know, like small impact on reading, but it will be a positive impact. Yeah, the biometry uh, is a little challenging in these patients because you cannot estimate supercore. You know, like there's no nomogram for that. At least uh, they're not working if there are any. Uh, so um, I am looking through the corneas and usually the, um, the impact of supracore um, goes off after a while. Um, so uh, if the patient has fairly um, good uh, topography, corneal topography, uh, we can, you know, like uh, EMB, because, you know, like you are playing a lot with uh, the aberrations on the eye. So I, uh, I try to aim uh, zero, but this patient stayed in the myopic state and he has like half diopters of myopia in each eye and he's doing okay. I am telling the patient that because these, most of my patients are coming here for a premium myoma. Um, they are asking for trifocals or, or, you know, like toy trifocals. And uh, first I explain them why it is not suitable for them. Uh, sometimes if they have meticulous personality, like a patient I had just like 10 minutes ago, uh, they have very meticulous personality. They cannot do with trifocals. I'm pretty sure that that will be a problem. Uh, they will have a lot of dysphotopsia and uh, they can have some, you know, like a, a problems in the retina or they, they can have some glaucomatous uh, pathologies. So I first I tell these patients, why they are not suitable for trifocals. The first step is that, why you are not suitable for these uh, trifocal lenses. But now we have another choice, I say. You don't have to go with the standard monofocals. We have another option, which is uh, which gives you an extended vision, which will provide you a little reading this ability, especially when you are outside shopping, you can take a thing in your hand and try to read the label on it. And um, if I put a standard lens in your eyes, 
perhaps you will need some reading glasses to read the labels. But if I put this lens, you will be able to see the big um, letters. And uh, probably you will do uh, most of your tasks in the inter intermediate distance, which is the arm distance without any glasses. But when you're trying to read or when you're trying to do something uh, with small um, parts or when you when you try to hold the thing that you are doing uh, next, you know, very close to your eye, you will have to use some glasses, but they are going to be less than uh, the power you will need with a standard IOL, I say. And, you know, like um, they understand it. If you have a normal person and if you try to do you know make the connection the communication well and if you spare the uh, you know like um needed time they usually get it and um none of my patients ask for standard lenses anymore because you know like in our time with the latest developments in IOL technology i think put a, putting a normal you know standard lens is a bit um Malpractice, I will say, it is a very strong word, but you know, like at least you have to give the, you know, like option to the patient to be able to see intermediates, you know, better. If I need a toric lens, I use eye hands toric. If I need to do a standard, um, you know, like a metropic thing, I do it with either eye hands or uh, EMV, mostly EMV. And if I'm going to do a monovision, I will do it with EMB, definitely. I will say uh, they should start with, um, you know, they will start with leaving the patient metropic in both eyes and see what uh, the reading ability will be with that. Uh, you, know, you know, like if I were them, I will try to stay in the, um, little myopic parts, which is close to a metropia, like uh, minus um, point, uh, 0.25, something like that, 0 0.25. And, um, but I will try to stay in the myopic phase. And then I will be prepared. I will prepare myself to see the autorefractometer uh, print out the other day, a, a little myopic, because it can be up to one diopters of myopia and, and it shouldn't frighten them. Uh, I think this must be said to the patient or the doctors also. And, um, you know, like uh, I will start, I will try to start with a, you know, like a standard patient who cannot afford a trifocal lens. And, uh, you know, like um, you can stay between a you know, standard lens and a trifocal, but um, this patient shouldn't necessarily have any problems in the retina or you know, like amblyopia, something like that. A standard, you can understand what this lens can do in a standard patient. And then you can, you know, like um, switch yourself to some special needs. Like, okay, what can this lens provide me in a diabetic patient, in a glaucoma patient? But first, uh, I think a doctor should st start with a standard patient without any astigmatism, without any amblyopia, without any retinal disease, and then uh, slightly, you know, like do some monovision. And this monovision shouldn't be like two diopters difference. We can start with, you know, like half diopters or, you know, like 0.75. And then, you know, like slightly change what you're doing. Not very big moves. I will do this.